So this is not an ideal situation. Just save that. <laughs> <laughs> So they were reporting a, a cotton mouth in their shed. And uh, this county does have cotton mouths, but this part of the county <laughs> does not. <clears throat> so I knew it wasn't gonna be a cotton mouth, but they uh, showed me a photo and uh, it's a copperhead. So let's see if we can catch it. Now when you saw him, why don't you just reach in there and grab him? I don't blame you. Catching, uh, <laughs> I, I knew that one was poison. Oh, yeah. I knew yeah. that one was poison. No, listen. Listen, the most I'll do is get these frogs. I, I get these frogs, man. You get, you get the frogs, right? I get the frogs. So it went under the tongue. <laughs> oh, you got a flashlight? I got one. I got one in the van. But let me see. I got a one. Where, where is the tarp? Just like right on the edge right here? It's, it, it, uh, it went from right there. It was up here. And when I swung at it, it uh, politely came down to right there and then went right in that area. And I'm pretty sure he ain't moving with all this crap. Now how does a snake crawl politely? Is that <laughs> oh, no. He wasn't aggressive at all. Okay, good. <laughs> <laughs> he, he, ain't, he ain't doing this. Yeah, I'm just going to move this. You better get out of here. I don't, I don't He's under the tarp. Yeah. Somewhere. I've been looking to make sure he come out on the scene to come out. Yeah. The only thing is, since you're in there, can you grab me those little glass figurines? That Where's was, that? That lion and that eagle. That's yeah, right. I don't want to break that. I already broke when I said that. I ain't gonna break them though. I just need that tight. I don't care about nothing. Else. Well, we're gonna have to move some more stuff out of here. Hey, man, whatever club, I don't care, man. Bird's nest. Oh, my God, <laughs> an old, an old, old bird nest. And before I move this stuff, I'm just gonna glance around the back of the shed. You gonna do what? I'm just gonna make sure I don't see any cracks that he could come out of. Slither out of. Okay. No, that's pretty tight back here. Uh oh. Look at that crap. Poison ivy. Poison ivy. <laughs> I hate poison ivy. <laughs> In this area back here. No, it's not. Right. Right. They shed the skin yeah. off right here. We've seen I've seen that. Okay. That went towards your left on the top. Toward this way? Yes, sir. Yeah, he's gonna to move a lot. Yeah. Here's one snake. This is not the one in the picture you showed me. So that's that's an extra snake right there. This is a little ring neck. Okay. And that's actually that's an adult, believe it or not. Oh really? So we're gonna box him up and keep looking. What about the wife ball? That old wives' tail. Is that where he Well you just said it's an old wives tail. That's exactly what it is. Let's see. Before I move all this down, let me just check. And maybe he's around the back of this or something. I'm not going to lie to you. He has, it's a, it has a pretty, pretty beautiful, uh, the, the brown, the discoloration yeah. brown bands. It's not shedded. It still has that. Oh, yeah. Co Copperheads are pretty snakes. They yeah. really are. Mm -hmm. I think you might be under all this stuff. Grab 
we just stuff right here? Yeah, we just probably have to move all of it. these toys to make sure he's not hiding in one of them. The, uh, the toys? Yeah. Yeah. When I was kicking, when you was giving them to me, I was double checking it to see. Here he is. You got him? You see him? We got him. Hey, little fella. Oh, oh, he just bit my camera. Did you bite my camera? <laughs> <laughs> I moved this box while I go and didn't see him. He must have moved over here. But he's right there. Pretty little top of <sighs> no, it was the, it had a nice Yeah, they're they're very pretty snakes. Yeah. It really had a nice nice coat yeah. yeah. box to put them in. Yeah. Uh, you can't put them in the same one? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, ring neck snakes are snake eaters. Oh. But this copper is too big. <laughs> they eat a lot of stuff, not just snakes, but insects. And you said and this little thing is fully grown. They'll get a couple inches bigger, but not much. Yeah. Uh, when we when you get them, I'm gonna have a little educational experience for yeah, boys. Yeah, uh -uh. absolutely. I'm no, going in the house when y'all yeah. No, you need to be out here and look here. Then. Listen, uh, you gotta be out here too. Listen, they, they done got me with the frogs. Oh, my fishing equipment. You don't like frogs. Uh -uh. I don't. Uh -uh. I, don't uh -uh. I only do it for mm -hmm. them. I, can, I thought I wanted to be a veterinarian, and then I realized I don't like frogs. I don't like snakes. I don't like lizards. Probably shouldn't do that. Probably. <laughs> To our copper head. Oh, oh, sorry, snake. A chair just fell on you. I apologize. You are Alright. Move this board. There we go. Alright, no, don't go that way. Oh. There we go. That's all right, little fella. Come on out of here, buddy. Trip off of that. All right, there we go. Let me get you. Let me get the lid off this box. We've got a ring neck snake hiding in here somewhere. In uh, another fan, real quick. Yeah. Oh yeah. There you go. Right in there, buddy. He got him. He got him, bro. He just got him. We had to move all this crap. with he got him. All right. Let's take a look at him. Hey, boy. Hey, come here. 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 I said I want to do on another day. I'm going to do it. As soon as I pound it, as soon as I pound it. He's in this box right here. Yeah. He's in the box. Yeah. Here. Yeah. You're going to do your recording. You know you're not going to record. Yeah, hold you, baby, because he's not going to do right now. Camera. So, yeah. we'll let you guys come see it. You can come closer. You got a zoom lens on that, on that phone. You okay, buddy? <laughs> yeah, I can't. What? I'm not going to have to happen to you. That's why I called the Mr. Jackson out here. All right, hey, so here at, he is. Oh. See it? Oh, he's shaking his tail. Yeah, he got a little cut on his tail. That was me. That was you? Yeah, that was me. Yeah, I think he'll survive that. I'm See sorry. him shaking his tail? I didn't want to try that. I, I would. So, a lot of snakes, when they get scared, they'll shake their tail. See and that? if they're in dry leaves or dry grass or something, then they it'll actually sound like a rattlesnake and scare people off. Okay. <laughs> Oh, oh, it's coming. 
he not gonna come out. Mr. Jason not gonna let him do nothing to him. <laughs> so let's close him up yeah. before I have to catch him again. <laughs> we'll relocate him. Oh, okay. In your shed. Alright, so what's a good any type of what's a good type of sna uh, snake kind of deterrent other than well with what you got right here uh you got all the bushes and stuff behind your shed back here uh, so that's where your snakes are coming from okay. so the more you can clean that up and only have stuff in your shed you really want to keep if you don't want to keep it get rid of it and yep yeah, throw it away and if you can stack stuff up off the floor okay that'll also help okay 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 yeah so um, are you serious about the snake way it doesn't work mothballs lime sulfur snake none of that stuff repels snakes that's just an old wives tale people uh, sell it to shut people up they don't want to deal with so <laughs> wow. so well good i'm gonna go get him in the van All awesome right. So I'm glad we got this little copperhead, so these little kids don't have to worry about it. That's good. Hey, do, hey, yeah. can we do a side by side? Yeah, man. Okay, y'all ready? One, yeah. two, three. Got it. <laughs> we'll see you guys you. later. Right. You're very welcome. Oh, that was nice. They even gave me a bottle of ice cold water, <laughs> which I can definitely use after being in that hot shed. Good lord. So now. It's time to number one <laughs> cool off and number two <sighs> turn the snake loose. The snake's had a little bit of a cut um, on the on his tail, but it's not deep. It looks like it'll heal pretty easy. Just a scratch really. So I'm not too worried about that. Sometimes we get snakes in that are, are injured pretty bad by the homeowner but uh this one this one went good and i'm glad we got it removed so the kids don't have to worry about it so awesome oh see him still little yeah it, it's an adult copperhead what? They, they don't get very big okay yeah. so you catch them there's actually two of them yeah. so that's uh that's an adult copper there's a a little one in here it's a ring neck snake but it's uh it's like this big oh, okay but that was in somebody's shed and I was like, it's too hot to leave it in the van, oh, so. Yeah. yeah, I saw I saw your shower and I was okay. like, oh, the snake in it. <laughs> yeah, yes, sir. That's nice, that's nice. Well, yeah. thank you for showing Yes, sir, me. yes, sir. So this is not an ideal situation, but I had already uh, made plans with my mom to go get some lunch today before I caught the copperhead. <laughs> so, uh, we're eating Mexican for the copperhead. I'm not gonna take him out in here because I want to be able to come back to this restaurant. It's one of my favorite, one of my many favorite restaurants, <laughs> okay? <laughs> the problem with wearing a snake shirt is they're like, what's in the box? <laughs> so, uh, I'm just glad the copperhead didn't jump out. All I have to catch it with is a fork. My snake hooks, my snake hooks in the van. <clears throat> it's too hot to leave him in the car. What kind of snakes are you? One's a ring neck snake. He's tiny, you won't see him. But the other one is a copperhead. What's a copperhead? He's a venomous he's a snake. What about you? He hasn't said anything about it. Uh, so. He says he wants to take it home. No, I don't want to take it home. <laughs> <laughs> See you later. Bye, guys. Bye bye. All right, let's get this copperhead out before somebody else wants to see it and it gets loose in the restaurant. <laughs> I have left the restaurant, which was not very far from where I caught the snake, thankfully. And I'm back. I'm back over here now. And there's a road that runs on the other side of this neighborhood and it's pretty pretty desolate there's no houses right here nearby and these woods look pretty good and right up ahead of me i see a perfect place for copperhead and uh if i decided to go and move all these logs right up here <sighs> There'd have to be some copperheads in there.
this spot is perfect. There's lots of hiding places and crevices under these logs, which tells me there's gonna be lizards and mice and uh, insects and all different kinds of things that copperheads would love to eat. And it's a really good hiding place for copperheads. I think he's gonna like it here. <laughs> We're about to see. There you are. Now, somewhere in here is that little ringneck snake. Remember him? He's hiding in there somewhere. But look at that pretty copperhead. Aren't you beautiful? Look at you. And that tail is just a shaking. <laughs> so that tail shaking is a nervous reaction snakes have. They get scared, they shake their tail. And if it's in these pine leaves, a uh, uh, pine straw and leaves, it'll make a sound that people hear and they think they just found a rattlesnake. The other thing I want you to notice is his camouflage. All right. Man, that snake blends in so well. <laughs> Look at that. If you didn't know where that snake was, You'd never see him. Ooh, he is hidden good. Perfect spot. And in this type of environment, he's invisible. That's his superpower, invisibility. So I'm pretty happy with leaving him here. And this is a pretty remote area. No houses nearby right here, so uh, hopefully he won't show up in anyone else's shed. Man, copperheads are so pretty. Now this copperhead is not going to spend its entire life in this pile of logs right here. Uh, copperheads, generally speaking, have, uh, the females have a home range of uh, like eight acres or so. And males typically have a home range of about 12 acres, 12 and a half acres. Uh, that's just an estimate. And throughout the season, they kind of meander all through their territory. Well, they're not their territory, their habitat. Uh, and their, their, um, their home ranges all kind of overlap each other. So one day you might have one copperhead in your shed. <laughs> the next day you might not have any on your property. And a week later, you can have two or three. So the numbers of snakes will continually go up and down. So if your goal is to not have snakes, especially venomous snakes, who wouldn't want snakes in their yard? <laughs> it's, it's more important to change the habitat than to just kill snakes or just have them relocated. It's kind of like having a bird feeder. And you got all this quality bird seed and uh, you know perfect habitat for them and then telling me hey we don't want these birds here well you know when you when you have food sources and you have proper habitat you're going to have birds same thing with snakes you don't want snakes cut your grass trim your shrubs pick up trash and debris the more hiding places you eliminate the less comfortable copperheads especially uh are there we got our copperhead turned loose but we still have one more. Did you forget about the ringneck snake? Uh, he was in the shed. Oh, here he is. He's a little guy. He pooped all over me when I caught him. So hopefully all that's out of the system now. But uh, <laughs> let me show you this cute little snake. Very pretty little snake. Ah, oh, he's tiny. You know, so people see these snakes and say, oh, I've got a little baby snake. <laughs> this is not a baby snake. This is an adult ringneck. Now, I've seen them a little bigger than this, but uh, these are very small snakes as adults and they don't get big. Now, here's something really cool. Um, so yes, this snake, uh, we do consider it to be a non-venomous snake, okay? But <laughs> this snake does have something that's pretty cool. You see, you see the top of him, you see the top of them's dark, uh, almost black, like a, a dark gray almost. And he's got that little bitty ring around his neck. That's where he gets the name, <laughs> the ring neck snake. But look at his belly. 
that bright orange belly. And I've seen these, uh, you know, the, the, the color of the belly can vary. It can be a reddish color, sometimes a little bit more yellow looking. But um, that bright color is a warning to predators. So sometimes what he'll do is he'll coil his tail up like that and he'll flip it upside down and the tail coiled up is bigger than his head so predators think that that coiled up tail is the snake's head and they go to kill the snake but only injure the tail and so then the ringneck snake is able to escape with just a slightly injured tail because if he has a bad injury to his head he's going to be somebody's supper so a really cool defense mechanism that ringneck snakes have but there's something else really cool about ringneck snakes. This ringneck snake has something in his mouth. Actually, it's a strip of tissue kind of in his upper lip area, and it's called the Devorny's gland. And the Devorny's gland, basically what it does, it secretes a toxin that mixes with the snake's saliva. So when this snake bites his prey, of soft-bodied insects, maybe a, another little snake. Whatever he's eating, he bites that prey item. He kind of chews on it, and his saliva gets into the skin of that prey item. And those toxins that are mixed with his saliva actually help paralyze and subdue his prey so he can eat it <laughs> without it getting away. Those toxins are not considered dangerous at all to us. So I can sit here and hold this ringneck snake without worrying about getting hurt. So even though a bite from the snake to his prey items is dangerous, a bite from the snake to us is not really anything we have to worry about. And as you see, they don't really bite. <laughs> now, now sometimes they will. Ringneck snakes will sometimes try to bite you and chew on you and act all big and bad. And if they do that, there's not really any cause of, of concern. Uh, so that's why we consider these snakes that do have toxins in their saliva, we still consider it to be a non-venomous snake. I released the copperhead here, and now it's time to release this ringneck snake. And I'm going to release these guys pretty close together. Uh, they were called close together. So uh, copperheads are not really known to eat other snakes. Ringneck snakes, on the other hand, these guys have been known to eat other snakes, but the copper, <laughs> I'd like to see him eat that big old copperhead. I don't think that's going to be a concern, okay? So there's going to be a little bitty snake this guy's eating. So, uh, but this is a perfect place to turn him loose. He's going to get under the leaf litter. He's going to hide here from predators, and there's plenty of things here for this little ringneck snake to eat. So the copperhead and the ringneck snake should be able to live happily ever after here. And while we've been filming, <laughs> more calls have been coming in, so I gotta go. <laughs> There's a little a little film. Oh, I'm a <laughs> I didn't know. I didn't know. Yeah. All right, so what do you do if you see a snake? You leave it alone? We don't go catch it, do we? Okay. Leave it alone. What are you doing? Get the picture of you. Say hey. Hello. So we got a copperhead. Say hello. Hey, what is that? It's a camera. <laughs> That's a camera, Carter. Hello. Say thanks for helping us. Thanks for helping us.